Alistair, won't you come cheers me with what? Huh? Alistair, won't you come?
Shall we take a moment for prayers and meditation? Thank you very much. I help. We may be seated. Honorable members, let me take this opportunity to welcome Honorable Premier Sisinto Mbela, members of Executive Council, the Deputy Speaker Honorable Lucima Bena, the Chairperson of Committees, Honorable Buti, the Chief Whip of the Legislature, Honorable Chabalala, the Leader of the Opposition, Honorable Jankerson, members of Executive present here, all our invited guests, both on the virtual platform and here in the chamber. We acknowledge the presence of the executive, acting executive mayor of Mangawung Metro Municipality, the judge president of the High Court, Justice C.J. Musi, the leadership of the Free State House of Traditional Leaders, the Chairperson Jose Khadi Muroka, Deputy Chairperson Morena Neo Mupedi, leaders of local government, leaders of Chapter 9 and 10 institutions, business leadership, the people of the Free State, mayors and speakers, all the invited guests, we also have amongst us Honorable Ndombela, who is also the member of parliament. You are all welcome. Honorable members, in accordance with Rule 7, read with Rule 24 of the Outstanding Rules and Orders of the Free State Legislature, I have informed this House of the date and time on which the Honorable Premier will present the State of the Province Address, which will also mark the opening of the Free State Legislature. Please note that, in line with the said rule, all proceedings shall be suspended until the Honorable Premier has delivered her State of the Province address. This, is therefore, this therefore implies that the only business of the day shall be the Premier State of the Province address. Rule 25.2a of the Standing Rules and Orders shall accordingly also be suspended to allow the House to sit at 10 o'clock today. Honorable members, I then call upon the Honorable Premier to address the House.
Thank you very much, uh, honorable members. Honorable speaker of the legislature, honorable members of the legislature and honorable members of parliament and the executive council, honorable members of the NCOP, judge president and esteemed members of, ju of the judiciary, Mudula Stulo, Wantuya Marena, Lemarena Kaufela, the leadership of Salga and our municipalities, uh, mayors and speakers, the provincial commissioner of South African police, the regional commissioner of correctional services, leaders of chapter nine and 10 institutions, leaders of the African National Congress and the Alliance, all our special guests, viewers and listeners. Dumela, honorable speaker, these are, challenge, these are challenging times for us as the country and the province. For a year now, we continue to experience the worst impact of COVID-19. COVID-19 continues to negatively affect the economy, <clears throat> individuals and households. People have lost their jobs. Some businesses have closed. Poverty is increasing. Social life has been disrupted and livelihoods are at risk. Just when we thought we were seeing the end of the pandemic, we were hit by the second wave. The country moved from, level down, from lockdown level one to level three again. I'm happy to say we are back at level one. However, the fight against COVID-19 is far from over and the threat remains real. We must never lower our guards. In balancing lives and livelihoods, we will still do all that we can to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Even in this worst of times, it remains our responsibility to reduce poverty, create employment, and ensure businesses prosper. I want to thank the people of the province for their understanding. We know it is not easy, but continue, continue to wear your mask, sanitize, and maintain social distancing. With the rollout of the vaccine, I'm hopeful that we are on the road to recovery. We will save more lives, but this road will not be easy. It needs all of us. We do not know when COVID-19 will no longer be with us. We need to be vigilant. It is not over up until it's over. The, star, the struggle continues. Aluta continua. Honorable Speaker, when COVID-19 happened, our economy was strained. Economic growth, unemployment, poverty, inequality were a challenge. Things are no better. We are hard at work to revive the economy, but the road ahead remains long. Through our economic reconstruction and recovery interventions, we want to revitalize the economy and bring long-lasting solutions to our challenges. Small and medium enterprises are the growth drivers of our economy. It is for this reason why we have introduced incentive skills to support them. COVID-19 relief fund to the value of 61 million rand 
was offered to 681 small and medium businesses, mainly in townships. Seeing the impact of the COVID-19 on businesses, local economic development was our primary focus in the procurement of personal protective equipment. Of the more than 889 million 969,000 rent spent in the procurement of personal protective equipment. 62% of the enterprises that benefited were black owned. 22% youth owned. 21% women. 1% owned by military veterans and other 1% by persons with disability. And we need to improve to women and youth, and of course, to people living with, to people with disability. In this thriving, in this trying times, we will channel our youth in a position where they are able to apply, innovate thinking to compact the challenges we, we face. We need to see more businesses owned by young people providing as essential services. Essential goods should be local produced and sourced. As the government, we, we will therefore continue to provide support to business owned by our youth. We ha have to help Banabaruna Babacha. We increased investment to grow the economy of the province and pave a brighter future for our, our small and medium enterprises to flourish in these times. Constructions of small and medium enterprises business up in Fixbeck is complete. This was handed over to the municipality last month. Other hub in Coffee Fontaine will be completed in the coming financial year. 71 small and medium businesses are benefiting from the contractor development program. These are granted various road maintenance businesses opportunities to qualify for a minimum of CDB, CIDB grading level four. This contractor development program has been allocated 110 million rent for the year 2021-2022 financial year. The focus of this program is the development of businesses owned by young people. Remember, young people are the future of this country. We will create a track-owned scheme for 50 young people together with the Transport Education and Training Authority. These tracks will be subcontracted to local small and medium enterprises to transport goods. Small municipalities will be prioritized in this implementation of this scheme. We have already started to do something there. Honorable Speaker, manufacturing is the source of economic growth and we want to tap into its potential to grow this sector in the province. We have secured over 1 billion rents investment in Maluti Apofung Special Economic Zone. I wish how Nalinako you can just go there and see what is happening in Maluti Apofung Economic, Apofu Economic Zone. Although it is, a, it is located in Maluti Apofung, the Special Economic Zone is for the benefit of the entire province. Its success is the success of the province. The Industrial Park Revitalization Program is well on track too. We are pleased that phase phase of the Botsabelo Industrial Park, Park is completed. Work of the phase two of the Industrial Park, which entails the establishment of the Botsabelo Digit Hub is ongoing. The digital hub is meant to provide training to small and medium enterprises focusing on ICT products. 
Another exciting investment in Butsabelo is Butsabelo yeah. Smelter. It's very exciting project, that one. This project is at advanced stage of development. It is expected that Smelter will create 1,500 employment opportunity, opportunities when completed. We will work closely with Mangawung metropolitan municipalities in the spirit of intergovernmental relations to ensure the success of these initiatives. Please, MECs, SODs, these initiatives should happen. I want to see actions. We need to turn Free State into a hub of economic growth and development activities. Time is against us. Honorable Speaker, our province is a great example that mining <clears throat> is a sunrise industry in the country. Six companies are mining industry minerals in, in, in Lijueli Buzwa. In addition, there are three coal mines that are operating in Sosolbeck and Kopis areas. Did you know that? These miners have a potential of lifespan and almost two decades. Together with the Department of Mineral and Resources, we provide support to sandstone and sand mining enterprises in Kwakwa, Forisbeck, Senegal, Sosolbeck, and Zastrol. Support includes the provision of risk sharing funding, permits applications, application and skills development assistance to the miners. We have huge tourist potential and lessen the impact of COVID-19 on this sector. We facilitated funding for 134 businesses. I so wish that our youth can be positive and start focusing and build their own free state. Under the difficult economy challenges of COVID-19, innovative ways were implemented to use our resort and reserved as quarantine site to save lives. In increasing our tourism products offering to stimulate economic growth in the province, we are, currently, we, are currently, we are currently engaging investors to develop the tourist, tourism potential in the Tabanchu airfield and Pakisa railways in Velgom. We have already started. We are working with uh, the Northwest Province Fezilidabi District Municipality and the Department of Environmental Affairs, Forestry and Fishery to revitalize the Friede for, Friede for Dawn and market it nationally and internationally. And we are going to make sure that this time, this tourism growth and development opportunities will be given material dimensions in the tourist, tourism sector master plan currently being finalized. I trust you. I know that everything that I've talked to definitely is going to happen. Honorable, <clears throat> Honorable Speaker, our location provides opportunities for agricultural growth. It is therefore not surprising that 14.5% of South Africans, South Africans' commercial farming activities take place in the province. 14.5% of South Africans' commercial farming activities take place in the province. This is an advantage we need to to fully harness. Under the Disaster Relief Fund, we assisted 389 farmers to the value of 17,250,000 rand. The intensive, the, the intense, the intense fi felt fire in 2020 caused serious damage on farms, in particular in Lijueli Puzo. Over 100 farms covering 100,000 hectares of land mass and affecting 53 farmers were burned down. I'm sure, Doctor, you still remember about that one. As 
if this was not enough, farms were flooded, causing another massive damage on farm infrastructure such as silos, houses, workshops, crops, and vehicles. Besides causing harm to agriculture production, these disasters affected livelihoods of farmers, farm workers, and farm dwellers alike. We since declare both the disasters in terms of Disaster Management Act 57 of, of 2000. As I previously, previously pledged, that we will use agriculture as a level for youth employment and creation of economic opportunities. Seven youth entrepreneurs are benefiting from the Go from the Good Farming Project in Tueli. A good house has a good house has been constructed and training offered, and beneficiaries have been supported with 261 goats. Ndate William Grata Ulebu Ahahulu Inekili Mo Bachaba Batabile Batabile Ufita Hutaba Buhulu Babona Ibile Kibana Baba Nanyana Bama Takam Radipudi Barekisa Dipudi Uba Ahetsin Kruza Nkle Ahahulu Bayi Kota Sifuba Ka Lifapa Lahau Ria Lebuwa Another development is the Chiki Piki, which has been constructed and is operational in Karib. This piggery has a biosecurity facility, office block, laundry, water establishment, and a reservoir, a tractor, and a splitter tracker. A very good project. Agri hubs that were established in Tabanchu, Springfontein, Vesselsbrunn, and Paris are now implementing the grain value. Aspect of this program includes provision of storage and milling facilities to support agri parks through the farmer support prod <coughs> production unit in Maholukweng, Tabanchu, Otindasres, Kronstadt, and Zastron. The Free State Poultry Hub invest <coughs> investment plan has been developed. Poultry initiatives are being implemented around Virginia, Paris, Frankfurt, and Reis. We continue to support our farmers with production inputs such as vegetable seed fertilize, fertilizers and garden tools. Our smallhold farmers must graduate to the commercial level and will be supported with production inputs. Indeed, Golden Gate, even when COVID-19 seems to frustrate our plans to create jobs, we created 52,233 expanded public works program, work opportunities through the province. From this number of jobs, 69% of women, 48% of youth, and 0.72% of people with disabilities benefited. We are looking forward to create 56,000 expanded public works program job opportunities in the coming financial year. This should start immediately, not later than June. But Baruna Metsidi Balapile, they can't wait. We will continue with expanded public works program until the economy yields permanent job. Ke a tseba hore batho ba ngata ba re ke eng hona ho ha se mosebetsi mara ho batho ba senang letho ya likeno ho bona e ba ntho nyana re tla tswela pele ho fihlela economy ya gona e ba hantle ke gona hore ke etse mosebetsi o phetahetseng ha jwa lo mosebetsi ha iso phet ha iso be ha iso gonoetsa mosebetsi o permanent e bile covid e ntse hore dintho di of course, uh, 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 Honorable Speaker, we completed some of the following projects in this financial year. Ordinal Sres Township Revitalization Program, Sten Sres Township, Botabelo Substance Abuse Dependency Treatment Center. This one, I'm very proud of it. 
that we have completed it. And if you follow the phrase that I ala hubanali substance abuse, even ali elinya yona, bom me bana boche, even unkuto hante, bana batu banya upe, ba rekisandi ntozaluna, ba yamma bitle, ba chwata yamma bitla, ba semba pila kanya upe, juale riserina li substance abuse, mo bata shabulwa ting imema miki ifedi le hante. The following project will be completed by June, March this year. Upgrading of the old uh, uh, Eureka Hostel in Tabanchu, upgrading of Charles Mupedi Stadium, Peking. I get a stadium on the but Resat Alaga, phase one, which was the Peking. Peking, I have a lot of 31st of March, but Sabelo Township, revitalization program, Leona, I have The following project. Uh, a work in progress. And I say, let me say, it's a long work. I learned what I learned. I'm a new Rebecca start new Rebecca start clinic. So I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to say, it's a top color. New Rebecca Park Clinic in Welcome. Leon Kitandanani. Leon New Rebecca Clinic in Welcome. Dilipedi. Dito Kala Osebeti. Kala. Meba Tua Runa Mato Tola Misebeti. Charles Mupedi phase one in Putadi Chaba, Ritale La Rikanagara Stadium, Juali. In Charles Mupedi Stadium remains the property of Maluja Pofung, and we are going to work together with the local municipality to successfully complete this project. Project Ena, Ya Charles Mupedi, Ratiba Ruka Malukia, Maluja Pofung, Ritosebeza Mo, Hanyani Hanyani, Ritabero Hutset Stadium Sarona, Morris Batanting, Ritas Lukisa, Lehao Kaba, Haba. Juang Batu Bata Tola Musebet. Half fella regards a bonituri, but to Badula Mo Ibe Bonaba Tola Musebet, Ibe Bonaba Tolang, thirty per cent aside. In all this project, government is committed to ensure that local contractors benefit on the thirty per cent set aside. I'm sure it's very clear, MEC and SUDs. Tamasi Wadi Pusan, Rese Rit Adileka di Programme Aruna, Yao Fana Califazi, Hobatu Baburuna, Ritwanela of Faba to Lifazi, Batu Hale by Mizilifazi. Mona Frey Stata, we have four hundred four four thousand eight hundred and seventy two land parcels valued at over eleven billion rents. Lena Kilaru Nalin. Of this total number of pieces of land, 2,626 have been earmarked to be transferred to the rightful beneficiaries. We have completed an audit on farms in the province with the view of uh, making this available to our people, mainly the youth and women. Ntate William Bore and Kibora Masaka, Basat Simon Hore, Babehadu Homukai, Kina Gojale, Nago Ifile, Batanella Libona, Bashejo Batole, Diplas in Seltzer and Alentona, Senator di Badile Mona, Retadile Catona, Hudi Hudi Swire, Sedin Sediliting, Din Sedita Marate, Renali, Ditokoman in Satona. Ninety five farms that include result and nature conservation areas have been identified. Already this week, two lease agreements are being included with Mr. C. Simon Sondesi and Mr. Elias Nsapo for wet waterfall farms in Tabo Mufutanyan. But the end of the day, visually, Mona, but the bill is whole. But the money is whole. Who really Mona? But like the baby, Nali, more baby hang the portfolio. So Mona, the end, more but the whole now. But the money is really bad. But Nali, the ratto, not just anyone else, but like we see, we place. Refan, I draw the Califazi. We will determine the possibility nature of farming operations on other remaining farmers. Transformation of the property industry remains our priority too. Of the 73 office lease contractors, 39 contracts are held by previously disadvantaged individuals. This is 53% of the total office lease contracts. 
We have completed the construction of the Butsabelo Transport Route and Cornelia Access Route. By the end of this financial year, this mayor project worth 166 million rent should have been completed. Dennisville, Helbron Roads, Jean Foshier, Dennisville, Hopstad, Bloemfontein Roads, Botterville, and Fijunskun Roads. However, we are aware of some of the challenges in, encountered in this uh, completion of the above roads. In the coming financial year, we will make sure that uh, we complete the following projects, and I'm sure that uh, we are going to solve the problems that are there in these uh, roads. Friedefort, Friedjunsborn, Wesselsborn, Hopstadt, Kitzau, Kijungotzi, we are going to complete them uh, in this financial year, and we will be able to solve the problems that are there. Due to the COVID-19, we could not continue with some of the projects. We have reprioritized some of the following projects, which remain serious challenge to a spread hop house, Coffee Fontaine, Lukov, Havenga Bridge. I know that Bakamo, Banebalaka Bridge, and Ribubonuri, Bridge Bo Bokamo, Habu Hantahahul. As part of the Township Revitalization Initiative, we implemented nine projects to upgrade township access roads. This project, worth 63, billion, 63 million rands, will continue in this financial year. These are Memel Access Roads, Arlington Access Road, Wyden Access Road, Clockerland Access Road, Twilling Access Road, Edenville Access Road, Oppermans, uh, Op Oppermans Access Road, Springfontein, in, in addition to these roads, the following three new projects will be initiated. Kwa Kwa, Mangawung, and Kharib. Using the presidential stimulus package value at 74 million rand, we intended to create unemployment opportunities uh, through uh, the contractor development in, Taban, in Tabong Fusanyana, but contractors, subcontractors, and workers on this contractor development co program will strictly be localized residing in that area. But Badula Mo, Batwanella who benefit, Cheleting, Ena. Let's make sure we build the free state we want. Operations in the traffic and licensing, there we have problems. Operations in the trafficking and licensing centers have been a challenge due, due to the COVID-19, but we have problems now. But we have COVID-19, and our children are struggling to get licenses. And really, if we struggle to get licenses, then we are, we are creating problems for ourselves. As, now, as we now move to alert level one, we expect the service to, re to return to normal and improve on the backlog. On the backlog. We must work 24 hours to make sure that Refaba Nababoruna licenses. We are going to do more. Doing more will require us to do things differently. The same approach to the same problems will not work anymore. Come rain or shine. We are going to build the free state we want. Honorable Speaker, I have created a task team. Would you COVID doesn't mean that the Honorable Speaker, I have created a team to drive strategic infrastructure projects. The, the task team will play a central coordinating func func function in the identification, planning, implementation, monitoring, and evaluation of strategic infrastructure projects. The task team is led by the Director General 
and the DDG will work together with Director General and will work closely with Infrastructure South Africa led by Dr. Hosien Ramahupa. As part of economic reconstruction and recovery plan availed by President Ramaphosa, we will work together with the Infrastructure South Africa to implement the following infrastructure projects in the province. Information, communication, and technology structure. Our province will benefit from the second phase of South Africa Connect, which is aimed at connecting all public buildings, schools, clinics, and police station to free quality and proper internet access. The project is funded through the Infrastructure Fund and will be implemented in this financial year. And the Human Settlement Infrastructure, Vista Metsidi Mamele Hantle, Vista Park 2 and 3, is part of the Women's Settlement Portfolio Gazetted Projects. The value of the project is about six billion rands, and it is projected to create 20,596 jobs. This project will create about 10,563 mixed-use housing opportunities in the Bloemfontein. Water structures. The province is prioritized with the provision of water as a key intervention area. Rastfontein water treatment works to increase capacity of water supply to Butsabelo, Tabanchu, Excelsior, and Bloemfontein has been gazetted to be one of the strategic integrated projects. Matata Amezi Atafela Freestart. Infrastructure South Africa is assisting Bloom Water to advance the development of Karib Aubatu. Karib Pipeline Project, which is required. <clears throat> To, uh, which, is, which is required to yeah. these pages. <laughs> this <clears throat> which is required to augment raw water to off for Mangawu and adjust municipalities. The project involves constructions of 180 kilometers pipeline from Karib Dam on the Orange River to Knellport Dam. It is projected to cost 8 billion rand and create about 3,000 jobs. The Orange Reed Canal is meant to increase water delivery capacity from 15 cubic meter per second to 24 cubic meter per second. The project is valued at 400, 400 million and will unlock almost 200 jobs. Infrastructure South Africa is working with Orange Reed Water User Association, Department of Water and Sanitation, and the Department uh, Bank of South Africa for project funding preparations. Rural roads and rural bridges infrastructure. Our province has been identified to benefit from the rural roads surfacing program. We are identifying priority connection, connecting roads, including their technical designs to benefit from this project. Construction method used will be labor intensive and prioritized Locals, come on, Soma. Local people are going to be the one who are going to work in those programs. We are working with the Department of Public Works, Infrastructure, 
and the Department of Defense to build bridges. A total of 400 bridges will be built across the country in the next three years, and our province has been identified as one of the priorities area to benefit. I so wish our youth can start to plan and to have positive mind and to build their own province. Thank you very much, uh, colleagues. Lalisa Obama Zogam Sibizumutla. Program Director. We partnered with the World Health Organization, Right to Care, Red Cross, University of the Free State in expanding our screening effort. Identified healthcare facilities for COVID-19 patient, patients have been re re refurbished and upgraded. Most importantly, we have added 1,588 permanent beds, increase our COVID-19 response capa cap capacity. As a response to COVID-19, we employed social workers, psychiatrists, nurses, medical officers, and cleaners. These appointments have uh, contributed to our ability to respond to the pandemic while creating employment opportunities. We remain grateful to the Republic of Cuba for its support in the fight against COVID-19 and providing us uh, with our 17 healthcare professionals. Honorable Speaker, vaccine is now available and we are moving fast to scale up and roll out processes. A lot is happening and this put us uh, a step closer to defeating COVID-19. A provincial coordination, st coordination structure to oversee the whole out process is now fully functional. We have adopted a decent and a decentralized vaccine roll out approach. We plan vaccine, <coughs> we plan to vaccinate 1,900,000 900, 900, people over 12 month period. Our target is 2,040 uh, vaccination per day. As we continue with the rollout, we have now 5,224 healthcare workers at Pilunomi and uh, universities. We have now vaccinated 5,224 healthcare workers at Bilnomi uh, and universities hospital, hospitals. This week we are launching three additional vaccine sites. Fezi Ngumentombi in Sosolbeck, Bongani in Velkom, and Rose Park in Bloemfontein. Your willingness to be vaccinated is a step closer to recovery and getting the country back to normal. Get vaccinated. Mutsamaisi wa dipuisano ena taba ire khataditse ya u hlikifetsa bomme le bana ena ke diketso tse swabisang re khatetse ha re sana matla khale re bua ka yona letsatsi le letsatsi ena taba ire ama maikutlo bomme le bana ha ba sa tseba hore ho etsa etse ibile re bona ikare ha hona batho ba re thusa re bona ikare ntwa ye Bomme ba ilwana ba le ba. Ke ya bua. Bomme ba amasha. Ke re holekane. Impa ha holekane. Hona le
o tsamaisi wa dipisana go ding ena ya ditukeletsa botho ke bietse ke tsa go iletse ya hore ditukeletsa bo mme le bana ke ditsukelo le tsona muso le sechaba ba lokela ho sireletsa bo mme le bana go dikuta tsena tse bolayang bana sechaba se bolayang bana le bomme ke sechaba se ipolayang ka bosona we have appointed district coordinators to help the fight against gender based violence in all districts the multi sector sectoral gender based violence and femicide technical committee has also been created the technical team will drive the implementation plan on the gender on the gender based violence and femicide in accordance with the national strategic plan on gender based violence and femicide 2020 and 2030 we have a safety house and a five shelters for victim of gender based violence in the province to cap this problem we provided 3000 811 victims of gender based violence with psycho <clears throat> psychosocial support and 167 women were admitted in our shelters should we listen to the stories of those women honorable speaker we have also allocated 3 million 413000 rent for the maintenance and improvement of services for women shelters dealing with all kinds of violence against women in the coming financial year 17 million 653000 rent will be used for prevention of violence against women and children payment of child and youth care workers to strengthen pre pre prevention and early detection will come from this allocation as i committed last year we are happy to report that Charlotte Matlake Substance Abuse Treatment Dependency Center in Botsabelo is operational. The center has 103 permanent staff, which includes, includes managers, social workers, and care workers. And we are happy to April. We are happy to report that the center is going to be able to get the center. The center is going to be able to get the center. The center is going to be able to get the centering in we continue to build a resilient social safety net to reduce poverty and improve livelihoods through social grant we provide income to the most vulnerable by the end of january 2021 1,027,970 million people were benefiting from social grant the amount of social grant paid in the free state is over 10 billion rand per year. Child support grant constitutes 67%. This followed by old age grant at 21% and disability grant at 7%. Honorable speaker, we welcome the 38 million, this one I like, we welcome the 38 million 284,000 allocated to EC force work to compliance support to workers as part of the presidential employment intervention uh, initiative this money 8637 additional ecd workers will be employed using this grant come on to among mema miki hito hira basadi libo mtate the ecd zing ba 8,000 au batu ba mudimu ka chalete ena eri ifuweng. Yo, we will continue with reto tswe la pili ka honka di social worker tsa nitse nentse re di hirile tse 92 re di tswe le pili ka mosebetsi hore di thuse bana ba gona. He batu ba mudimu masupa tsela ale a sale a hirwa ka 2020 ale level 2 ka 2021 a tlonyo lo level a ye ho level 3 me mamiki ali bongwe silimon sena sa di chelet la ho lithata mara re tla ne re bile honorable speaker despite the, the effect of covid 19 
we are again, <laughs> we are again the leading province with 85.1% grade 12 pass rate in the country. Rinserili bo mampudi Silimon Sena ka 85.1% in the free state. We are holding on to our number one on spot. And come next year, <laughs> you will find us here. We are going nowhere. Rie mi rie mi aritsi tsinye. Re tla dula re ntse re le di number 1. Ha ho na mo re anteng mo na free state. A ntate thetu mampudu wa sebeli le ba sebetsi mo ho ba hao. Ge ya le boha matichere batswadi SGP batswadi ba free state go bona thuto e seli ntho e mading. Ge ya le boha ka mosebetsi o motle o tsule matsoho latlala ge sa motlotlo ga ba ga le bala go hona le covid 19 ge le boa ho mena hane ge le boa ha holo maemo ana api le ha maemo ana le mabi le ngwala ho se hotle impa ke mona he le rientse batho hala la free starta hala la I will let the legend that Mark Mahwe who are afoile kapotago. Currently, 11 schools are at various stage of construction. Two of these schools are in Harip, two in Mangawung, two in Lijoliputsa, three in Tabomfusanyana, and other two in Fezilidabi. The following schools are almost complete with some facilities already partially occupied to address overcrowding. Kalib Mutsabi, Huang Tsebo in Tlokoland, Moi Fontaine Primary School in Zastron, Rehupotsu Primary School in Bethlehem. The following new schools will be completed in the uh, coming financial year. Tulo Primary School, Butsabelo, Malebucho Primary School, Herzogville. Opening the doors of learning in our farms is important. All in all, we have 39 farm school hostels, where farm learners are accommodated across the province, this is not enough, and we are busy expanding this program. 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 We are Sibauri, Limani Frem for Toma Plassing, Banaba Sukula, Libonan Serba Luxetauri, Reba Puterbaise, the Hostele, Batsiboke Nascolo, Mona Fristata, Tutu Asin Tauba Pala, Emulia Mutua di Plassing, Utuakai, Utonsu, Toilet Tuto, E. Hantle. Musabatu Kadile, Jolo Hunta Fasa Budulo, Badikolo, Lizabana, Bana Limbu Kola, Lizabana Bama Plassing, Jolo Calibone, Special School, Hostele, Le Brepna Primary School. Selimon se tlang sa di chelete re tla lukisetsa di baka tsa bodulo di kolontse mashume a mabedi a mmutso o le mong Of the 30 school built with a uh, unsuitable material 25 have been reconstructed with uh, appropriate materials and 5 are under construction Then re tla be re tletile free starter re sna di kolo tsena tsebe seng hantle We have advertised 527 posts of educators, this is an in addition to 82 posts advertised in September, October last year. 97 offices based educators will be appointed to capacitate our districts and provincial office and provide professional support to schools. We have decided to create and fill 52 positions of social workers to provide psychosocial support services to our schools in all districts. Who na ti hambi di kolo how na li di social worker ba na ba na ba re ipuang ba ki fetuang ba tse bo bua li di social worker si social worker si di li te mono di tse bo bona oki bo man ba na ba sna mangolo matata ba na ki afi re tuele sa holo musebe tuno ituang ki li fapa la 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 tuto. As part of the basic education employment initiative by President Cyril Ramaphosa, eighteen thousand eighteen. 1,410 education assistants and general school assistants have been appointed. How sa holitsa batse tsamaya yobutsa dikolo 
hore ha o ya hiroa batho bana na they are there batho ba 18000 ba hirilwe re ya leboa ha holo le fapha la education honorable speaker we continue to build houses in our desire to provide safety security and comfort to all brick by brick and with patient this will become a reality soon in this financial year we have delivered 1203 housing units however we can do more we can do more we need to do more we will deliver 4785 houses in the coming financial year one of these total housing units, 3,723, will be <clears throat> new unit, and 250 will be for the finance-linked individual subsidy. In this financial year, we have produced 5,947 service, service site. In the coming financial year, we intend to deliver 5,600 service site. Hobo majoro barona famba to ditsa rona re kentse disebediswa metsi di o kentse disebediswa metsi di gore gore hore ba gona ho ikaela matlo ba ikahele ba thontse ditsa ba gone ho ikaela ke yona ntwa bohlokwa eo miss le monsena re tlokenya tse ding ditsa tsena leng di gore gore le metsi 4223 sites are for upgrading of informal settlement and other are for new greenfields development. We are in the process of providing the necessary basic infrastructure in the Shabeng, uh, Back and Park Extension 6 and 7 in Bethlehem. We have been talking about Back and Park, Hilikan Jwale. We must make sure that we do the right thing. Mani, Cape, Mama, Moba, Tubadula, Metsi, this year, very soon, before June, before April, Tansu Batubano, Majoro, Le, Emis, Le, Lituna, Babese, Batu, Hile, Monu, Baile, Ditenza, Bona, Batu, Badula, Bobing, Badula, Mona, Ling, Metsi, Kihale, Batu, Bala, Haru, Tuen, Silo, Sabona, Rituse, Batu, Haburuna. The number of informal settlement increased from 143 to 173 you can see Uri, this is a challenge but wa rona bantse ba ipeha ho bane ba batla ditsa ene ha re sa batusi re ba fel le fatsi ho bane batho ba batla le fatsi e tla ba mathata ba tla dula ba ipeha ha re ba feng le fatsi gona re se re qadile ka o fana le fatsi mo re na le lona e bile se re tse re qadile ka o fana ka diplasi tseo e lentsa gona work to install internal Reticulation in 43 informal settlement is in progress. One of these has been completed. 29,280 households will benefit from this uh, de development. Eight township uh, establishment projects in six municipalities have commenced. Most of these will be completed by the end of uh, financial year. Honorable Speaker, COVID-19 restrictions have contributed in the reduction, reduction of crime. Although there was a, an increase in incidence of gender-based violence nationally, similar cases reported in the province were low. Data shows that sexual offense cases in the province fell by 2.2% in the period between October uh, to December 2019 and October to December 2020. I don't want to talk about this anymore. It is really affecting me. But uh, this is no success. One case of gender-based violence is one too many. During the 16 days of activism on no violence against women and children, we participate in the launch of gender-based violence strategy hosted by the Independent Police Investiga <coughs> Investigative Directorate. We were also part of the roundtable seminar on gender-based violence hosted by the Commission of Gender, Megetrut. Through some of this engagement, we want to ultimately put an end to gender-based violence. We condemned act of criminality in our farms. These acts have the potential to divide our society. This sh should be stopped. And Offenders be convicted. We can't go on like this. This thing, it must stop. Freistata 11 last year, 
It is not right. This thing is a divide. We must stop it. We must protect each other, both black and white. We must stop this thing. It is not right. And I've seen in Kwanstad, Honali Baba Mbatsetsuinka asset. And I'm sure members of parliament will talk about that. It is not right. We are human beings, all of us. We must learn to love each other. Please, let's fight together, members of parliament, oppositions and everybody. Let's fight to stop this thing. This thing cannot be right. It is wrong. Dati Mashinin, please fight this thing. This thing is going to destroy our province. We must not allow it. We have established a special team made up of all concerned to look at all rural safety matters within the context of the rural safety strategy. At the same time, we are implementing a five-year intelligent animal tracking system in Tabanchu, Butsabelo, and a border areas to cap uh, livestock thefts. We value our law enforcement officers who day and night continue to put their lives on the line in pursuit, in pursuit of justice. Your commitment to rule of law is, com is committed to the security of our province. In your hands, we know we are safe. At the time of the lockdown, you were out there in our street. The provincial uh, police secretari secretariat conducted oversight to assess police vis visibility and business compliance with regulations. We were impressed to see all of you there. I am pleased to announce that in the year 2020 and 2021 festive season, our road accident fatalities fell by 0.9% compared to the 2019, uh, 2020 festive, festive season. Honorable Speaker, like other sectors, uh, the sports, arts, and culture sector was affected by COVID-19. Many events had uh, to be canceled. This includes Makufe, Heritage Day, Freedom Day, OR Tambo Games, and annual reading festivals. Aish, kisonomona. Despite the COVID uh, limitations, we are able to provide relief funds uh, to artists and athletes to address the financial distress uh, many were facing. 896 artists benefited from the 5,228,000 rent COVID-19 uh, COVID, uh, COVID 2,595 rent was also made available to 171 sports sector beneficiaries. The creative industry continued to suffer. Our artists are really suffering. They are really suffering. The most during a pandemic, we will make additional funding available to assist our artists and athletes. We must do something. We must put something aside to make sure that we assist our, our artists. Really, they are suffering. For the coming financial year, we will open it, the Smithfield and Southbound libraries and complete the construction of Van Stades Rest Library. Construction of the uh, recording studio in Kostad will also commence soon. We will unveil the statue of Mewini Matigizela Mandela in Brantford and Albertuna Sisulu in Velkom in, in, in the coming financial year. The pandemic has not, uh, honorable speaker, the pandemic has uh, not prevented us from fulfilling all the important responsibility of building the capacity of the state. Training session of uh, recognition of prior learning for national public administration certificate were offered. Chance management session, change management session, and 16 accredita accredited Courses provided through the Free State Training and Development Institution were conducted. 
Training and development opportunities were not only limited to government officials. To achieve and enhance our development prospects, we continue to provide bursaries to many of our youth, national and international. We now have 1,021 students studying, studying various courses nationally and 500 locally and 500 and 23 internationally. Our responsibility to youth does not only end with the provision of bursaries. Working with the sector education and training authorities, we are leading the efforts of providing work experience to youth through, <coughs> through graduate inter internships, learnership, short skills programs, and work integrated learning methods. In total, 3,067 learners benefited from the different skill development programs at a cost of 109 million, 781,000 rent. We also, we are also excited with uh, our placement program with the private sector. Agribusinesses and uh, commercial farmers have agreed to support 120 graduates with Innovate innovation farming technology initiatives. Another 120 unemployed graduates were funded by government and placed for experience in various enterprises. To fill a gap in the automotive industry and provide TVET graduates with training, our road building equipment unit is concluding training and 23 artisans who will subsequently be, take, <clears throat> be taken for Red Seal Certification. We will, in partnership with the National Electronic Media Institution of South Africa, implement the digital skills problem by providing basic, basic digital literacy courses, specialized technology training program, and digital transformation program to young people. Honorable Speaker, I know who Ronald Batlbat I tabulate. Honorable Speaker, Following a successful fourth industrial revolution summit in 2019, we brought we together the private sector, civil society, academics, and the public sector in the platform to chart a common vision for digitized free state. As part of the resolution of the summit, we have established a joint test team with the Central University of Technology to conduct a baseline study of the <coughs> use of the fourth industrial revolution technologies in agriculture. We are rolling out artificial intelligence program with Microsoft and Kijima. We have trained 18 young people in artificial intelligence as trainers as part of our innovation hub activities at the Central University of Technology. We are collaborating with the Closed Loop Network to roll out an online entrepreneurial matriculant of the year competition meant to introduce business culture to young people before they complete grade 12. Working with CETA, we will soon establish the Free State ICT Security Center to protect government information. Through this center, we will revive the ICT sector and create new skills set to propel the Free State into the future. So, ditaba zarona, ditaba safe. Honorable Speaker, we are concerned with the state of our local government. Many of our municipalities are facing technical, administrative, and financial challenges. Instead, <coughs> instead of poor planning, implementation and oversight are too common. Again, they affect effect function of municipalities and ability to provide quality services uh, to the people. As the servant of the people, we take no pride in poor service delivery. People deserve better, and it is our responsibility to give them the best they deserve. 
We are providing various uh, services, delivery, financial, technical, and capacity support to municipalities. We will do everything necessary and possible to serve the people with pride, professionalism, and dignity they deserve. Given different challenges that range from maladministration to poor service delivery they face, we have placed Mafube, Metsima Hulu, and Mangawu municipalities under Section 139 of the Constitution. What is concerning is that the situation in Mafube is yet to improve, and we have since appointed a new administrator to deal with challenging experience. Metsima Hulu is no different. Service delivery remains a problem with non-appointment of senior managers and less expenditure. We have taken administrative function of this municipality to improve service delivery. But Baborona, Banse Badula Hara, Makeshina Ditsila, Habafuman Sumeti, Disurishidia Mata, Kore Hunso Hulu will be fellow Makeshini Arona. In Mangaung, there was a cash flow and cash flow and revenue collection problem. We we intervened to implement a mandatory recovery plan, and this is in progress. We lifted the intervention in Malutia Pofum. Then the, when the signs of progress were visible, improves include timers payments of salaries and third parties, billing and revenue collection. Things are better now in Malutia Pofum. Marantweki sayutu sinsingure, puladi nile, matamu atleti, batu basansu batole metijuali. Hoshe mwezi alinsiyo, batuwa wakona batansu batole meti. Ari lege ngufa batu meti, refe batu di tsebe leto, tse shoka halang. Lero na, bako na ho patala di tsebe leto. Hare patale ing, humane hare sa patale di tsebe leto. Batu haba no maspala, hau no khona, ho sebe di sa di tsebe leto, tsabo hona. Honorable Speaker, attacking corruption remains high on our development agenda. We need to be <coughs> transparent, effective, and accountability to great trust in government. This we can achieve only when we seriously about the fight against corruption. We are comparing, comparing, we are cooperating with the law Info enforcement agency in their investigation. I have instructed MECs to ensure that a public servant doing business with the state, public servant doing business with the state as reported by the Public Service Commission are dealt with accordingly. We welcome the, initi the initial report of the Special uh, Investigation Unit in COVID-19 related procurement. We remain committed uh, to the investigation processes and look forward to the final report. No acts of corruption will be tolerated in our municipalities too. A database of fraud, of fraud and corruption cases reported in municipalities has been created. Some of these cases are already being dealt with uh, by law enforcement agencies. The pressure of national government to reduce debt and budget uh, deficit will certainly affect us. With what awaits us, we cannot afford any wastage. Hari tuwele corruption ni e e e e batuba hisu huhubi batuba bata ditsebeli tu. This year, the audit outcome of uh, department shows show significant improvement. Out of 12 departments, six received qualified audit opinion with one outstanding. We congratulate all the department that receive unqualified audit opinion, and the prov provincial treasury Mehadisha for receiving a clean audit. Things are better now. At least, at municipalities, things are still not better, but at least I'm sure this year things will improve. Uh, provincial Treasury will monitor and support provincial departments uh, and municipalities to improve sustainable and accounta accountability physical government. 
Support will include the development of funded budget, which are aligned to perform plans, including audit and risk management plans. We need to establish an auditing task team to monitor and assist municipalities. We have, honorable speaker, we have learned a lot from the, the unfortunate COVID-19 pandemic. This experience will live with us forever. We need to take what is good and learn from the challenges it imposed to us. Of all the lessons we have learned, the most important one is never to despair in the face of hardship. There is no doubt that we will rise again. Challenges should only make us stronger. We should be united in action. We have seen the West and emerge victorious. This is no different. The courage of this in the forefront of the fight against the pandemic is humbling. Without all of you and your dedication, we could not have seen West, the West. We pay our respect to all those who have lost their lives to COVID-19. To date, we have 8,065 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the free state. 3,250 deaths and 70,328 recoveries. I want to take this opportunity to thank all the MECs for their hard work and dedication, the MPLs. Indeed, we are united by the purpose to save, and this we continue to do. It is a pleasure to work with you. I want to take this opportunity to thank all public servants for having kept the boot of loot during these difficult times. My heartfelt thanks to my families, to my family, my husband, for your understanding always. Hudula Lin Sapota during difficult times. Thank you very much. And I also want to thank the opposition party for being there for us. With you by my side, all things are possible. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Oh. Hi. Ah. Thank you, Honorable Premier. Thank you, Honorable Members. Um, the end of the State of the Province addressed by the Honorable Premier concludes the business of the day. And let me once more thank everyone, all our guests that have come to witness this, the opening of of the Free State Legislature under these difficult circumstances. Before the House adjourns,
I wish to make the following announcements that everyone should remain standing as the Surgeon at Arms, the Honorable Premier, and the Speaker leave the House, that the guests should remain at their seats while the Honorable Members leave the House. Lunch will be served at the marquee adjacent to this building in the premises for members and the guests. The next sitting of the Legislature, Honorable Members, will be on Thursday, the 4th of March 2021, at quarter past two in the 4th Ratsal, and the business of the day will be the debate on SOPA. Uh, to the, um, our media, post-SOPA media briefing will take place in the chamber at the very same venue after the procession exit the House. Thank you so much. The House is adjourned. <laughs>